Hey guys, Rusty, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Cool, hey. Hey guys, Rusty over here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a guide on how to complete every single legendary pet battle on Mechagon for a total of 75 rep per pet, which I believe brings you up to 600 rep total. My math could be wrong on that, but basically it's a good amount of rep to unlock flying. Now, you're going to need three pets for this. You need Icky, the Twilight Clutch Sister, and the Unborn Valkyrie. Only those three pets. Now, I am going to show you where and how to get these pets. However, there will be timestamps down below to skip to each specific pet battle if you want to. By the way, Unborn Valkyrie is the only one that can't be bought in the auction house, so you have to go and collect it. Head over to the Forgotten Shore. This is one of the spawn areas. This is where I got mine. You're going to go over there, you're going to battle it, and you're going to collect it. Another area that I found where it spawned after flying by from that one, actually, is right over here in this area in Dragon Blight. Next one is going to be the Twilight Clutch Sister. Head over to the Bastion of Twilight in the Twilight Highlands. Any difficulty, it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and kill Valiona and Thorellian, and they have a chance to drop the mount. Again, Unborn Valkyrie is the only one that can be bought in the auction house. Icky and Twilight Clutch Sister can be. For Icky, though, however, head over to your, basically, Draenor, your garrison. This is the intro quest for Spires of Iraq. Head over to, basically, you want to keep doing it, so you get to return the Veil Terok. Head there, talk to Rashad, and get a quest called the Kalari Whisperer. This very important quest is going to put you on the quest to get Icky. Basically, you follow the quest over to this area. You're going to search that dead guy, and then, basically, on that egg there you're going to get a quest to basically you need to hatch the egg now how are you going to hatch the egg i feel like blizzard should have made you sit on it or something but you're just going to go ahead and click it and then icky's actually going to spawn but they're not done with him yet he's hungry he's a new bird he's he's new boys he needs to learn how to eat grab some grubs from him and feed him and he's going to fly away because he hates you you suck i'm just kidding anyways head over back to veil vale Telrock and look who's there waiting for you that's right it's icky again he can also be bought in the auction house if you don't want to deal with all of this but it's a very simple. I recommend just getting him. Now, before I go into the pet battles, one more thing to show you. If you head over to Legion Dollar on where I am and talk to this lady over here, she's going to be selling some pet stones. You have the purple one, which instantly boosts your pet to 25, and the blue one that makes your pet rare. Your pet does need to be rare, and they sell for the BFA pet tokens. Now, with all that out of the way, let's just get right into the pet battles. Head over to Megagon. Over in the southern area near the outflow where all the slimes are, you have your first pet, Unit 17. Now, all you need, your Unborn Valkyr and Icky. The third pet does not matter. You don't need your Twilight Clutch Sister yet. Start off, simple enough, Curse of Doom. Usual Unborn Valkyr stuff. You use it every single time. Curse of Doom comes in. He's going to hit you. Don't worry about it because your Valkyr is going to sacrifice herself. Noble Sacrifice. Pop on Holy Ascension. That's going to debuff him. Take more damage. Once your Valkyr is dead, you're going to go ahead and summon Icky. Now, immediately what you're going to do, use your Black Claw. Black Claw is, is probably one of the most overpowered pet builders ever. Anyways, apparently you're, this thing's going to crouch. Kind of like, eh, and basically, take less damage. Doesn't matter, though. You're going to start using Flock on it. It's gonna, basically, at this point, you're just waiting. You're going to let Flock do its thing. Now, this thing is going to get absolutely deleted. By the way, he's going to put up Block. Here is basically going to block some attacks. That's all right. You have Flock. If Flock does multiple attacks, it blocks some attacks. It goes through. It does the rest. Now, once Flock is done, you're going to use Savage Talon once. It's going to go ahead and kill off Unit 17. Dead, goodbye, gone. It's going to come back alive because it's a mechanical pet. That's all right. You're going to use Savage Talon again, and it will immediately die. Simple enough. Unit 17 done. Move on to the next one. Next one is going to be Gnome Feaster. I don't know why we're killing this thing. It's doing the Lord's work by annihilating all those gnomes. Anyways, you get you get reference, so that's why we're doing it. You need Icky and your Twilight Clutch Sister for this one. So you're going to start off with Icky and go ahead and use your Black Claw. Now, this thing is basically going to start absorbing your health. But first, it's going to put a dot on you. Once it does that, go ahead and use your Black Claw. And here it goes. You can see here. I'm pretty sure the ability is called Absorb. Essentially, it, it, it does what it says. It absorbs your essence. It absorbs your health. It absorbs Icky. Poor Icky. Because Icky's dead now. Don't worry about it. You're just going to get off one flock. That's perfectly. That's all you need to push the debuff on him. Summon out your Twilight Clutch Sister and immediately start it off with a Tail Sweep, which does extra damage if it does go second, as you can see. And then immediately use a Twilight Meteor. Again, he's going to be healing a lot here, but that's fine. Use a Twilight Meteor. Now here, after that, you're going to use your Tail Sweep one more time as he didn't heal. You just put the dot in you and the Tail Sweep is going to go ahead and kill him off. Simple off. Now the next one, oh my god. God, this one is more annoying than someone who posts on the general forums. This one is annoying. This, what is this? The CK9 Micro Oppression Unit. Now, you need three things. Unborn Valkyrie, Clutch Sister, and Icky. Start it off with your Unborn Valkyrie and immediately start off with a Shadow Slash. Now, he's going to start firing some guns. He's like, get, 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 get. Start, it doesn't matter. Start putting in Shadow Slash and then use Curse of Doom. Now, this ability he uses here, that can stun your Valkyrie. If that stuns your Valkyrie, just restart the pet battle. Just restart it. But if it doesn't, that's fine. 
As soon as he does that, just pass. Let him fly up in the air. After you pass for that turn, he's going to hit your Valkyr. He's going to kill it. That's all right. You're going to pop Unholy Ascension, and you're just basically going to put, you know, debuff him, except your Valkyr won't die because it has the undead debuff. Before it dies, though, one more time, might as well get one more Shadow Slash off, right? Perfect. Shadow Slash, your Valkyr is going to die. Again, if your Valkyr gets stunned, just restart the fight. Now, Icky is going to spawn. Now, there's a specific time that Icky needs to die. When he spawns, or when you summon him, use Flock, and that's it. He needs to die on the second round of Flock. So, you can see he used one there. He's going to use his second one here. After this second round of Flock, if Icky doesn't die, just restart the fight. So that ability there needs to kill Icky off. It is very important. If it doesn't, again, just restart the flight. Your Twilight Clutch Sister is going to come in. You're going to use Twilight Flame here, not Tail Sweep. You're going to change it. You're going to use Twilight Flame. It's going to miss. It doesn't matter. And then after that, go ahead and use your Twilight Meteorite. He's going to come down and he's going to hit. You could also pass her, by the way. You don't have to use Twilight Flame. You can use your Meteorite. It's going to go ahead and kill him off the first time. But of course, he's a mechanical pet. He's going to respawn. After he respawns, then you this is when you actually want to use your Twilight Flame. And it's going to go ahead and burn him. He's not going to kill him right away, but the dot will, since it does extra damage. Again, this one is a nuisance. There's a few RNG elements. Just if you need to restart it, you need to restart it if you get stunned or if he dies at the wrong time. Next one, you're going to kind of near Junkwatt Depot. You're going to have Golden Bot XD, by the way. Summon in your Unborn Valkyrie, by the way. Make sure you take Haunt here instead of Unholy Ascension. So you're going to start it off with the usual Valkyrie stuff. We put on Curse of Doom with him. Now that ability he used on you, that basically after he does this, he's going to heal you for every single one. It's kind of annoying. Doesn't matter. You're going to use Haunt. Your Valkyr is just going to, you know, whip it out and jump inside him. Just get right inside of him. There you go. Simple enough. Your Valkyr is going to go in. It's going to debuff him. Once it's in there, you're going to go ahead and you're going to spawn Icky. Now take a guess what you're going to do with Icky. Yeah, you're right. About 90% of the times when you summon Icky, you're going to immediately start it off with a Black Claw. Black Claw is just amazing. So he's going to put the evasion on him, doesn't matter, you're going to use flock anyways, yes he's going to dodge all these, it, it does not matter, you just use flock anyways, you want to get that going. He's basically going to do his own, this is literally flock v flock, it's essentially what it is. Flock's going to go off again, this is going to put the debuff on him just in time for the big dot to go off, or a big damage over time effect to go off, big boom, there it goes. So he's going to basically at this point, he's going to kill Icky but, and also heal. That's okay, Icky did his purpose, he debuffed him with black claw and put a ton of damage dots on him. Once it's dead, go ahead and summon your Twilight Clutch Sister, not your Valkyrie. Valkyrie's back, should be back at this point. Once it's out, go ahead and use Twilight Flame on him. This is, again, he's going to use his own version of Flock. Now, this Twilight Flame, since it already has the increased damage taken debuff on him from the Golden Bot, you kill him once, and then the dot from the Twilight Flame... Oh, actually, I thought it's there. Sorry, I'm thinking of another one. You immediately use your number two ability here. He's actually going to use the Evasion buff. And then you're going to pass. He's going to hit you here, but you already have your evasion. Sorry, I was thinking about a pet before. And then you immediately use Twilight Flame or your Twilight Meter, right? It doesn't matter what you use here. Your Twilight Clutch Sister will get close to death, but it won't matter. Twilight Flame, Twilight Meter, right? It doesn't matter. You're going to go ahead and kill the bot off. Simple enough. Next one, you're going to head over to the over basically to the left of where this pet was. You're going to head over to Great Crate Clank. I'm not saying that. Creek Clank. Crate Clank? I don't know. Anyways, start off with your Unborn Valkyr. Immediately pop Unholy Ascension, not Curse of Doom. Start it off with Unholy Ascension immediately. Now, this one does have a bit of an RNG element to it, but it's still 100% chance. You'll see. I'll explain it. Go ahead and summon Icky and then immediately throw in a Black Claw. He's going to be a little zappy boy and zap the crap out of your pet. Doesn't matter. Immediately start off with flock now you're gonna see this ability here this demolish it has a high, very high chance to miss you if it misses you just use your savage talent and go from there however you can see here it did hit me so start summoning your twilight clutch sister if it hits you just use twilight flame as soon as your clutch sister is in and again you're just gonna absolutely annihilate this thing look at this after that use twilight meteor right now he's gonna put the heal debuff on him if that goes off you lose but it doesn't matter, you're doing so much damage. Hit a Twilight Meteorite, and then watch. He's just going to die from the dot from the Twilight Flame because he's debuffed to hell. That one's fairly easy. Again, if your Icky doesn't... If it misses the attack on Icky, just use Savage Talon, and you'll be fine to go from there. After that, basically, you're going to head kind of over to the same area. It's basically like literally to the right of him, and you're going to have Sputter Tube. Now, you're going to start it off with Icky. Now, this guy likes to spray everywhere. Anyways, start it off with Icky immediately with a Black Claw. Again, see, there he goes. He's just spraying his liquid on you, just like... That's what he does. After that, go ahead and use Flock. Again, he's going to start. Look at, he's just a madman. It's all right. Flock did his purpose. Icky did his purpose. He debuffed them with the Black Claw and the damage taken debuff. As soon as he's done, summon in your Twilight Clutch Sister. Immediately pop Twilight Flame. This does a ton of damage to mechanical pets. Again, look at this. Now he's spraying your, he's spraying it all over the Unborn Valkyr too. Like, why does he got to spray everywhere like that? 
After that, use your Twilight Meteorite that's going to go ahead and kill him off for the first time. But of course, he's debuffed from Twilight Flame. The Dot is going to go ahead and kill him off. But of course, he has to get one more spray of his liquid in. He loves spraying his liquid. What could I say? Anyways, simple enough. You're going to move on to the next one. Head over to the heaps over here near the jungle, kind of to the north of Junkwat Depot. You'll have Unit 35. This one is also fairly easy. Start off with your Unborn Valkyr and immediately do an Unborn Valkyr things. Pop Curse of Doom. That's going to increase your critical strike chance, by the way or his critical strike chance after that pop your unholy ascension now he's gonna put you slow on him doesn't matter valkyr is doing his purpose and dying anyways and you're gonna summon icky here go ahead summon icky and then immediately gonna have a black claw by the way that voice crack is staying in i'm gonna make sure i embarrass myself for the future anyways start off with a black claw is basically again this is literally flock v flock bird versus bird chicken versus whatever icky is a kalari whatever it is anyways basically you're gonna pop flock now there's a very high chance that icky's going to die here it is possible i can survive in which case you just use black talon but icky is likely to die here at the end of flock that's all right you still have your twilight clutch sister after icky is dead go ahead spawn your twilight clutch sister by the way it'll die from the valkyrie dot as soon as Icky is dead, by the way, if he lives, you can just use a Black Talon or a Savage Talon and he'll die. But Twilight Cluster just comes in, Twilight Flame or Twilight Meteor, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and kill off Unit 35. Moving on to the final pet. Basically, you're moving on to Froggy. Robot Frog. Why, why don't I not call him Froggy? Unit 6? What a boring name. Call him Froggy. Anyway, start off with the Unborn Valkyr. Starting off with the Curse of Doom. He's going to make it rain. Not money-wise. He's making it rain. Basically, he's benefiting himself, which is weird. He's a mechanical pet. I feel like he would rust. Anyways, you're going to use your Unholy Curse of Doom. After that, pop your Unholy Ascension. He's going to do like a weird little spin move. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Anyways, once your Valkyr is dead, go ahead and summon an Icky. And immediately pop your Black Claw on him. Just like you do. It's pretty Icky of you. Now, he's going to slow you down, but it doesn't matter. You're fast. You're super fast. You're going to use, um, what's the ability? Flock, because you're a flying bird, so you're fast. Use Flock. Now, you're slow. Now, he's going to beat you. It doesn't matter to the point. You're going to still get that second round or a cast of Flock off. And then, finally, after that, he's going to go ahead and do, basically, well, first of all, he's going to die from the Unborn Valkyrie dot because mechanical pets come back, too. Then, he's going to go ahead and kill off Icky. It doesn't matter. Go ahead and summon in your Twilight Clutch, just or honestly, any pet at this point. And just finish off the fight with a twilight flame or a twilight meteor and you're done and that is it guys that is i believe again 600 rep for you most of these pet battles are easy minus the micro oppression unit really that one is just annoying anyways guys i hope this guide helped you thank you very much for watching if you would like to see more videos don't forget to subscribe down below i'm also going to leave a link to my own channel down below i also make guides on my channel and other content as well anyways guys thank you very much for watching i really hope this guy helped you i hope you're flying have fun.